friends, did you know that I have an MBA in music business and marketing? Probably not, because I don't really talk about it. And truth is, I don't know why I don't talk about it. Um, but it wasn't until recently that I was having a conversation with someone. And they said, you have an MBA? And I said, yeah. If I'm being honest, the reason why I don't really mention it is because to me, it feels like I'm bragging or it feels like um, I'm being arrogant. But we got to stop doing that. We got to stop thinking that our expertise is us bragging or our expertise is us like trying to show off. And instead, we need to figure out and, and really dig deep within and figure out why don't we want to tell people about things we've accomplished or things where we're considered an expert. So in this episode of the Canon Studios podcast, we're going to talk about how to unleash your expertise. All right, let's get started. So if you know me, you know, um, if I could get paid to go to school, I probably would. I would be a lifelong student. And really, when you're a business owner and when you are constantly in pursuit of personal development, you are a lifelong student, but there's not always a dollar amount per class that you take that's being, that's being put into your bank account, right? But if there was a career where I could get paid for literally taking classes, um, I would do that. I would be a forever student because I love learning new things. Um, and so that's what I did. I have my MBA, which is a little bit higher than a master's. And so, I mean, then I have a bachelor's degree, obviously. Um, and so my bachelor's degree is in audio production. And then a few, le- few years later, after I graduated from, um, with my bachelor's degree, I decided to pursue my MBA or my graduate degree. And so I'm proud of those accomplishments, um, but I don't talk about them a lot because like I said, I don't want it to appear that I'm bragging. What I've had to realize is when I don't share those accomplishments, I'm not allowing God to use me to be like a testimony or really to show that even when you have a bunch of things going on or even if there's maybe like all the cards aren't in your favor, that um, you can still accomplish something. And so um, oftentimes, like I have a lot of conversations and most of the conversations I have um, are with clients that are, or potential clients, so discovery calls. And they're typically women. Um, And they come in and they feel like there's not a lot of power and they limit their expertise or they underplay where they have some sort of expertise. And so I want us to stop doing that. Fellas, fellas usually play a, play a pretty or do a pretty good job of talking about what it is they've accomplished. Um, and that's not a bad thing or that's not a bragging thing, but for whatever reason, guys are just naturally wired to talk about things they've accomplished while women oftentimes won't talk about those things. And I'm not sure why um, it's like that but it is. And so I want us to stop downplaying what it is that we've accomplished and unleash the expertise that we have. The reason why that's important is because as you start to build out your content, um, you need to talk about what you're an expert in, right? Like if you are an expert in your business or you've been in your business for a long enough amount of time to where you've made mistakes and bounced back from those mistakes, You should be open and honest and vulnerable in your content and talk about those things because there is so much power in you talking about how you face this mountain um, or how you face this valley um, and you were able to climb back up out of it, right? Um, And so I think there's so much power in us talking about things that we've accomplished and we can do it in a way that's humble and do it in a way that's not us bragging, but doing it in a way so that it uplifts others that maybe need to hear that. Um, oftentimes I tell people when they're afraid to come out with some type of content, um, or afraid to talk about something in particular, or they're like, oh, I don't want it, the spotlight to be on me in terms of like content. I don't want to be on camera. And I have to say one, your story, yes, your story is for you, but two, your story and your journey is for somebody else. 
So God has you going through this particular journey or gone through a certain season, a journey in a certain season so that you're able to help somebody. So if you're not talking about your expertise or flexing that muscle or saying, hey, this is what happened. I had all this going on. I thought my business was going to have to be shut down. I, I lost all my clients, whatever the case may be, and you were able to bounce back from it. Think about how powerful that is for another female or another business owner, somebody that is in a very dark season to be able to hear that, right? To be able to hear from somebody they know personally or somebody that they feel can relate to them. Think about how encouraging that is. And so I really want us to think about how can we unleash our expertise and not hide it any longer. Um, and, and don't downplay what it is that you're doing. Um, whether there's one person in the room when you're speaking or whatever the case may be, or 50,000 people in the room, you never downplay that because if there's 50,000 people in that room, or if there's 15 people in that room, if you were able to positively impact or speak life into one person, then you did exactly what God sent you there for. So today is not a super long episode and I'm trying to keep these short because I know that you're a busy entrepreneur and you have a lot going on. And so today I really just want you to think about what is that thing that is hindering you from unleashing your expertise and why do you feel like you're not worthy enough to talk about that expertise and share it through the form of some type of content? right? Some type of content, whether that's video content, whether that's, whether that's podcast content, whatever that looks like, you need to start sharing your story. You really do. You never know who it's going to help. When I do these podcasts, I'm really talking to myself and just inviting y'all in on the conversation that I have, that I'm having with myself. And in doing that, surprisingly, it touches other people. So God is placing something in my heart to convict me, and at the same time, it's helping other people. And they, I, I know that because they tell me. They tell me like, that video you did was right on time. But if I would have never recorded this episode or never recorded the content or said, man, like, I don't know what I'm going to say. Like, my hair is not done. If you're watching this video, you can see my hair is looking crazy. I don't care. <laughs> I know I got a message that God wants me to tell y'all. And so that's what it is right? That's what it is. So don't be so afraid and don't let your fear of what you're going to look like when you show up, um, be greater than the fear of, or be greater than the thought of you being able to help somebody. Yeah. So, so just be selfless, um, in what it is that you're trying to create. Um, and so I just encourage you, don't be ashamed and don't try, no longer try to hide um, your expertise, because God created you an expert in something. I don't know what it is for you. I know what it is for me. Um, and so use that. Um, if you're still trying to understand what that is, or you're still like, man, like that makes me think about purpose. Go back and listen to the last episode. The last episode was titled Pursuing Purpose. Um, and so I feel like that's a good starting point. If that's something that you're not sure about, um, is pursuing purpose or understanding your purpose, go back and listen to the last episode. I highly encourage you to do that. And the last thing I'll say is, as you're creating this content, sometimes we don't create content because we don't want to give our secret sauce away, right? We, we feel like we're giving people too much, so much information that they won't come to us. I encourage you to go back to the first season and listen to the episode I did with Dr. Lauren Carver, where it's we're talking about is there a such thing as providing too much value? And so if 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 that's kind of a season you're in or you feel like, man, like what I do is so custom or what I do is, is so niche or what I do is so unique, I don't want to give away everything that I know or everything that I'm that I'm um, an expert in, go back and listen to that episode as well. I'll tag it or I'll, I'll um, be sure to leave it in the show notes below. But yeah, go back and listen to season one with Dr. Lauren Carver and what we're talking about. Is there such thing as providing too much value? So that's all I have for you today. I appreciate each and every one of you for listening. Um, share this with five friends. Honestly, you never know who it's going to help. Um, and so as you're listening to this, if a name pops up in your head or a person pops up in your head, send it to them. You don't know if they if they need this episode or not. Um, so do that. Send it to five friends. And then also, friends, 
would you share this episode on social media? I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my audience um, and not grow my audience just so that my numbers can look good, but grow my audience so that this um, content that I'm creating helps the next person, right? So I don't care about the vanity metrics. I don't care about the downloads, none of that. Like I really care about um, impact. And so if a name popped up in your head, send it to those people who popped up in your head as you're listening to this and then share this episode on social media. Will you please? Um, I appreciate it guys until next time. This is Gianni with the Canon studios podcast. And as always keep creating.